Welcome back. We're back with Charlene Patton of the Kansas Soybean Commission. It is grilling month, uh, and you always come with some special ideas, some interesting ways to incorporate soy into our diets. So tell us what you have today. Well, if you mentioned it's grilling month. It's also May Beef Month, and I thought this is a great time to remind uh, consumers that most of the soybeans that we grow here in the state of Kansas are used to feed livestock, so beef, pork, poultry, and I thought let's combine that and feature some great steak recipes on our website. So sure. we have three great recipes. The one that we're going to do today features the flat iron steak, and this is a, maybe a little less tender, so we're going to marinate it, and I'm going to put it here here in a Ziploc bag. This is about an eight ounce uh, steak. And then we're going to put one half cup of the Greek marinade. And that is just a Greek uh, dressing. And you can get that in any store. Yeah, just look for the Greek uh, Greek uh, dressing. Sure. It gives it just a little bit different taste. Seal that up, put it in the refrigerator, and I love using that bag because it doesn't get a lot of uh, equipment dirty. You can easily turn it and, and uh, let it marinate for about two hours in the refrigerator. Then we are going to put that on our charcoal grill. Mm -hmm. We do have the temperatures listed on our website, so if you want a well well done, a rare steak, okay. help you to get to that point. Then we're going to do the salad, and you're going to help me make that. We just have six cups of any kind of greens in here. We're going to add the cherry tomatoes. That's a half a cup of cherry tomatoes. Okay. And then a half a cup of cucumbers. Cucumbers. That this is good yep. so far. I like These it. are black soybeans, so we're getting some soy protein there. And then we have some red onion. Yep. And that's one fourth cup of the red onion. And then we have the olives there that we'll add right, in there. Some interesting Greek olives. Yep, and some of the feta cheese. You and there's put that your Greek in there. There too. you go. And we're just going to toss that. And you can see in our display over here, you can either make this as a complete salad. You can use individual servings. We have sliced the steak and put it on top there. And you can drizzle it with a little bit more of the dressing. You will want to discard this dressing here that we've used sure. here. And, uh, but you can add some more of it for your salad. I like it. And as you see, a little medium rare sear there. Yeah. I appreciate that. You got me pegged there, Charlene. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's always interesting because you talk about soy protein. Uh, this is not directly ingesting that except for the beans, right? right? But, right. but by extension, uh, you're definitely promoting the use of, of soybeans in Kansas especially. That's right. When we think of the soybeans in the state of Kansas and agriculture all working together, yeah. it's nice that we have that uh, camaraderie that we can promote the beef industry and yeah. support soy too. Well, it looks delicious. Thank you very much. This is the third recipe now that she's shared earlier on the Good Morning Cakeland program as well. She showed two fantastic recipes. So you can find all those at kansassoybeans.org or call that number for more information. Thank you so much, Charlene. Thank you.